sequencer notes start. Naturally, you start playing notes to trigger the sequencer at the first beat. But starting on another beat makes you create even more variation. Listen to this example. First time it plays starting on the first beat, then it starts on the second beat of the bar, creating again another groove. If you like a preset but like to play manually the sound, set the play mode to manual mono. Next, turn the amp decay fully open. Then the amp release almost fully to the left. Adjust by playing the sound. This is the best setting to play manually the sound. And of course, we have a bank with all kinds of manual presets. But in the case you play a nice preset, and it has the sequencer active, and you want to play it manually, this is the way to do it. Each preset of power chord has its own sequencer setup. But if you like the sound, but not the sequences that come along with it, you can have the option to change the sequence or by selecting another sequencer file available inside PowerCord. Select the Show Sequencer Presets and the Sequencer Preset menu appears. Whilst playing, select another sequencer that may suit you better. Of course, don't forget to save the preset if you liked the combination. Most of the current presets do have the sequencer re-trigger active. This means that each time you press a new note, the sequencer starts again on the first step. If you set this feature off and play legato, the sequencer continues to play the steps even if another note has been pressed. Give this a try because without retrigger, it might suit your song better. The Sequencer command menu offers a lot of handy features. For instance, if you created a very nice sequence, you can copy it to the other sequences. But also copy a certain range of steps. So don't forget to use the command menu, because it saves you a lot of time. Like all our instruments with sequencers or arpeggiators, PowerCord also has the velocity key dial. If the dial is fully to the left, the velocity setting inside the sequencer controls the sound engine.
if the dial is fully set to the right, your manual keyboard or MIDI playing controls the velocity of the sound engine. Now I play soft. And now I play hard. Keep in mind that velocity also should be activated inside the sound engine. So here in the amp section or in the filter section or maybe by using the mod matrix. Of course you can mix in between these two settings. Enjoy power chord. <laughs> 